In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint Online Modern Highlighted Content Web Part. So this is a part of the series where we are discussing about the modern web parts and this is going to be a very useful web parts where you can display contents from a document library from a site or site collection or from all sites that we will see it here. If you are new to the channel, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint spfx power platform all this office 365 all these technology videos you are going to get now what is this web part this web part will display content from a document library uh, either from the same site from a site collection or from all the sites or from a particular document library anything you can you will be able to display the documents and there are various layouts that you can also choose from by default uh, this web part will display the recent documents which you will see now and then it can have also filter sort audience targeting lot more things are there on this particular web part if you are a site owner or if you want to display some information or some documents uh, based on certain conditions then this web part is going to be uh, your uh, main web part where you can use it in, in your home page or in your communication site home page anywhere you can use this use this web part now let me open the sharepoint site here so if you'll see here uh, this is the sharepoint site and there are certain document libraries where i have uploaded some documents maybe some uh, uh, some documents or some images files all this uh, type of uh, documents are there in this particular site and what we are going to do here is we will see first of all how we can add this web part and how we can configure what are the various properties that are available on this before going to that i have a sharepoint uh, sharepoint site or not or a power user training where you can go through uh, there are several mo seven modules and you can uh, check out this uh, particular course i'll put the link in the video description you can see here there are different modules which will give you an idea about uh, sharepoint office 365 site collection sites uh, both modern and classic and then list libraries uh, permissions uh, then power apps uh, uh, microsoft flow or the power automate and then power bi also so you can you can check out this course i'll put the link in the video description now coming back to our uh, site here so i'll go to the pages library just to open a, um, a new site page so you can see here uh, let's say i will take uh, this uh, demo.spx page so this is basically a site page which you can use or which, where you can add the modern web parts even if you are if you want to add this web part into your home page that also you can do that uh, but i just added this in a particular page so you can see here first click on the edit icon and once you edit this icon you can you have the option where you can add various sections you can click over here uh, by default let me just add it again here so you can see now you have the sections either you can go for a one column layout or two column layout three column layout you have most uh, most of the options are available here let's we'll take a one column layout and you can click over this plus icon which will um, from where you can add web parts and you can see the highlighted content web part you, if you didn't find it you can just uh, select it here or search it here you will get it so click on this highlighted content by default you can see here it is displaying the most recent documents from this particular site and you will be able to see all this you can see it here now to modify or to uh, check the properties simply click over here in this edit to a part icon and there you can see various options are available on this for example first one you can see here either you can filter which will have some properties or you can have also custom query that we will uh, uh, we will see in a separate video but you can see here if you we'll click on filter you have the option the first one you can see here it is uh, displaying the items from this particular site and the types are documents if you will just expand it you can see here you can also display pages news videos images events issues tasks so you have lot more options are there which you can which you can which you will be able to display it here now for example uh, you there might have been certain scenarios where you want to display uh, let's say the uh, the documents from a particular uh, uh, library also that also options are over over here for example you can see here this site and a document library on this site if you will select this you will be having the documents uh, document libraries here you can see 
and in this company documents i have two document uh, over here and that is the reason it is showing this and also then you can select or you can filter the documents for example if i want to show only the pdf documents or video one note word excel powerpoint any kind of uh, if any filter that you want to add it here you can simply add it here you can see here if i will just select any that's the reason it is showing this if i will say pdf obviously you can see here it is it is showing like this because we don't have any uh, pdf over here now uh, next thing what we will so some default content it is adding here if you have a uh, if you want to only show the uh, you can see here docs content you, you will be able to see the word documents here so you have this option where you can select the document type and you can filter uh, these documents and apart from this if you will see here then there is this site collection that means if you have subsites then it will also pull the documents from those subsites as well so again the page the page library on this site or you can select site 7 uh, you can see uh, uh, when you select the source as select site it is showing that various sites which are over here and you can select any sites from here for example if i want to show it from ts info classic and the enjoy sharepoint you can see it is showing me now the documents from this this selected sites so you have that option also and then you can select the type whether you or you want to select uh, pages images videos whatever you want to or uh, display it here and then same same way you can also put the document type what kind of document basically you want to display it here now i a lot of time people ask me or this question i usually get that i want we want to display the documents from a particular document library and you can see here you you, you can select the document library option here like a document library on this site and you will be able to display it apart from that also this is you can see here i want to display uh, the items or the documents from a particular site or from a few particular selected sites then this is the solution how we can display it or how we can check this uh, sites and it will display the documents from that site and another important thing that you can do here is if you will see then it is saying that you can have some filter conditions what is those filter conditions you can have some title includes the words or recently added or content include the words and then let's say you want to display the hr related documents maybe you can just put the title as hr or you can say that if the document contains hr you can put that or you can display that way you can filter it apart from that you can also see if i will select created by and then it is showing me that you have to select the user for example if i will select current user then you can see here it is displaying the documents which are created by the logged in user or by the current user this will be basically will provide you the current user or the logged in user and you have the option where you can filter also if you click on filter you have also other conditions which which you can add it let me remove this and then you have the sort by so in the sort by you, you can uh, display the documents uh, on the order so most recent document will will display in the top and you have other option let's say most viewed on the trending documents like this so these are the conditions which will be helpful if you have some trending documents uh, based on some certain festival or something or some policies uh, for your organization that you want to display then you can select this sort by options over here and then apart from that you have the audience uh, targeting is also there where you can enable audience targeting here uh, we will uh, we will have a separate video for this and then uh, the layouts so if you'll see here you have various layouts available here for example the grid layout or you have list layout you have carousel uh, layout or you have a film strip also where you can uh, display the uh, items like if you'll select next then it will show you the next uh, item so um, this is how you can display it then you can have the uh, how many items you want to display then that is the option that you can select it here the last and 
very useful option also uh, you can hide this web part if there is no um, uh, no items are there or no documents are there so unnecessary you should not display that uh, uh, default messages whichever are there so instead of that you can uh, just check this option and it will uh, hide this web part if no documents are there so this is how we can use the highlighter content and i am going to cover two more videos on the on the same i'll put later the links also so this is how uh, we can use it um, this highlighted content web part in a SharePoint online modern site if you are using a modern site then this is one of the out of box very useful web parts without doing any coding without having any SPFX kind of development you can you can display the content you can add these filters this is a very good web part that you can try if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our channel you will get as I said you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint you can learn SharePoint Thank you and have a nice day.